hey guys welcome back to another video and to the channel i'm nana so in today's video i'm going to show you an amazing hair mask very simple to make that you can make for for nourishment and for moisture so if you're interested in seeing what i did please keep watching the video and i'll be right back and by the way guys do not forget to subscribe and to like the video So before we get right into the video, I just want to say that I do a lot of DIYs on this channel to help with your natural hair journey and I've created a playlist that you can always find whatever it is that you're looking for right there guys. It's easy to find. So to get into the video, we are going to be using our watermelon. I'm using a piece of watermelon guys. You can always add uh, or reduce according to the thickness and the length of your hair all right guys so you want to start by preparing your watermelon remove the the flesh from the skin and also the seeds right so guys the reason we're using watermelon because is because watermelon contains high amount of of water and this um because it is made up of about 90 percent of water the water helps to hydrate your scalp and it also helps to to treat um, dry and itchy scalp okay guys you also watermelon juice can also is capable of removing buildups and impurities from your scalp and strengthens your hair follicles to help you prevent hair loss okay guys watermelon also prevent, uh, contains a lot of vitamin c which um provides great amounts of ions to our scalp and helps to encourage hair groups hair growth it also contains amino acid which promotes hair growth all right guys so that's the reason we're using watermelon you all know that any product that contains water that contains a lot of water will help to hydrate your hair like crazy okay guys so watermelon because it, con it contains about 90 percent 90 percent of it is water that's what is going to be a great um it's going to be it be a great um, moisturizer for your hair it will hydrate your hair for you very well all right guys so you want to put everything they are going to be juicing it so you want to put in your blender if you have a juice and then it's okay after you blend it you want to strain okay guys you want to strain it And then in another bowl guys you want to bring uh, mayo so when you combine watermelon and mayo it will nourish your hair and at the same time moisturizes it okay guys the 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 mayo acts as an as a as a nourishment to your hair while the watermelon juice moisturizes your hair okay guys so you am um, I'm pouring about I think about two tablespoons of mayo and then I'm also adding my oil mix if you don't have this one guys you can obviously use any oil of your choice I have this one sitting around in my fridge that's what I'm using so if I did not have that I could have used my extra virgin olive oil or castor oil or, or um, avocado oil okay guys then you pour your juice in it and you mix everything together guys that is just it that is all about the recipe and if you do not have any oil available you can still skip the oil stage and you use just your watermelon and mayo and that is it you apply it to your hair for the amazing benefits that we just mentioned guys so if you have itchy scalp, try to always um, moisturize your scalp. Try to always 
um, hydrate your scar guys that's the best word so always use water instead of oils on your scalp if your scalp is too itchy always try to use something that is hydrating to your scalp before you go in with a moisture right guys hydrating your hair before you moisturize it is always very nice always good because it will help you to keep moisture for a longer period so guys this is how it's looking i'm just checking so that everything can mix up properly and then i'm going to apply to my cornrow guys my cornrow is matted like crazy i don't know how about yours but mine is um the day i'm going to take down this thing is going to be trouble guys it is so tangled that day even when i'm rubbing my hand through it i can feel it my hair is actually very soft it's always moisturized i try to moisturize and keep it hydrated like i was just saying now i try my best to keep it hydrated and healthy but i know and i feel it that is really really tangled it has a lot of it's so matted guys i cannot even run my finger into my hair because i'm scared of of um allowing my finger to get trapped into into my hair and cause breakage but because there is no way you can even run your finger into into my hair right now it's so matted so but the the challenge continues guys let's see how it goes so you just apply everything to your hair and you especially to your scalp guys especially to your scalp and to your your hair itself work that in and then you're going to cover your hair with a plastic bag and after the hours that you start one hour is okay after sitting for one hour just go ahead and wash your hair with a shampoo with your favorite shampoo and then you go you continue to deep condition moisturize deep condition hydrate your hair when i say hydrate you don't need anything special guys you can just apply like aloe vera juice to your hair and then you put in your leave-in conditioner and then you seal the moisture and that is it guys so that is what i'm gonna do after i sit for one hour i'm gonna go and wash my hair with my shampoo and then i will deep condition my hair after i deep condition i will um hydrate my hair with some aloe vera juice and then I will put in my Cantu leave-in conditioner and then I will use my butter to seal. Okay, guys. So that is it. Very simple and very nourishing. Very nourishing recipe that you can do in the house. So when you get your watermelon lawn to eat, just cut a piece, guys, I use for your hair. That is it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe. Join the family. As I said, I have a playlist that I created. You can easily find anything that you're looking for on this channel. Thank you, guys. God bless you all. Please make good decisions. I'm going to see you back in my next video. God willing, stay blessed. And I love all of you. Please share the video. Like, again, subscribe. Bye-bye.